delivery. Do we have any oranges left? Nice touch. Don't you love my new truck? I love seeing my food roll in. <laughs> so what do you feel like making today? Hmm. Status update. Taste buds are looking for foods that roll. Today on Taste Buds, we're going the extra mile. With foods that roll. I get things rolling with a gourmet chef. We're making enchiladas with a modern twist. You can't talk about rolling without making some of these fresh salad rolls, which I'll be making at a Thai restaurant. And back in the kitchen, we're making delicious crab wheels with corn salsa. That sounds intense. Hey, that's the way I roll. Today on Taste Buds. Foods that roll. I'm intrigued. It's easy. Just make something round or something you can roll up. I've got it. I know what I'm making. Oh, oh, me too. But don't tell me. I want it to be a surprise. Huh? No, no. Tell us. I need ideas. See you guys. Good luck, Tyler. Wait, no. Come back. Don't worry, Tyler. You'll think of something. Just give me a hint. Hey, Chillbot, get me Avery. I don't know what to make. Hey, Avery. Hey, Lily. So, ready to roll? You bet. Any excuse to make enchiladas. And these enchiladas have a modern twist. Okay, keep me posted. Cool. Let's get rolling. Hi, I'm Avery. I'm Chef Gordon. Welcome to Four. So you're ready to make enchiladas? Yes, but first. So what are we making? We're making Gordon's ultimate enchilada. Hey. Nice. So where do we start? We start off with a bit of uh, vegetable oil. Pour that in. Yeah, pour it in. Stoves are hot. Get a grown up. Then we add some onions. We start off with good flavor builders, like onions. And why are we using red onions? Uh, red onions, they're a little bit more delicate. They're sweeter. Now we continue with uh, some garlic. I love garlic. Some more flavor going in there. Now we add a bit of corn adding some great color to it. Now we continue with uh, some black beans. Black beans. These black beans are canned black beans. We like to rinse them off to reduce the sodium. We'll add some tofu. Tofu, now, now I've had this before. What are they made of again? It's made from soya beans. They've made a milk out of it, they press it. At four, we like to cook in this sort of healthy way. This is a vegetarian um, dish that we're doing today. Vegetarian, nice. And this is the protein sort of replacement in this uh, enchilada. Cool, so what's next? Now we add some cumin. The cumin? Cumin has that nice warm spice that we see in a lot of Mexican cooking. Our chili, a little spicy heat there of chili. Nice and fragrant. Now we add some chipotle. Chipotle. This is uh, the chipotle and adobo. Slowly heat it up more and more. Yes, exactly. And this is jalapeno pepper that's been uh, smoked and sort of dried and cooked with a little bit of uh, tomato paste. You can buy them in a, a tin in the grocery stores. And then finally, we add a little bit of uh, chopped tomato. Kind of brings the whole dish together. A nice sauciness. Exactly. You can really smell those spices. And now we like this to uh, take that out of the pan and let it cool down to fill our enchiladas. Nice. While the filling's cooling, now we start with the sauce. So what kind of flavor are we looking for with the sauce? We're doing a simple tomato sauce to go with the flavors that we used in the filling. All right, so where do we start? We start off with a little vegetable oil. All right. And then we add in a little bit of flour there. Flour? Kind of stir this around. This adds flavor, also thickens uh, the sauce up a little bit. So how do you know when it's done? Um, you look for a light brown color, and then you okay. know it's time to add in the rest of your spices. So you can actually see it kind of turning already. Okay, let's start adding some of the spices. Add some cumin. 
cumin. Now we add the chili. Chili powder. Add some onion powder. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Ooh, yeah, more garlic. All right. And then add the tomatoes. Nice and saucy. Pick up all those wonderful aromas. These enchiladas are gonna be awesome. What's next? We add a little water and a pinch of salt. And now we let it simmer for five minutes. Then we're ready to roll. All right, so we got our filling. We got our nice tortillas laid out and our cheese. Where do we start? We start off with a filling and we do a nice generous amount down the middle of our tortilla. Okay. Just like that. I'll just put that down. Put it on down the middle. Okay, nice and even. Nice and even. Now we fold it up. Fold. A little squeeze. Squeeze it in. And roll. And roll. Nice. And right to the tray. Beautiful. Okay, another one. Good technique. Thank you. Now we just go and we top it with two slices of cheese. Little diamonds. And what kind of cheese is this? This is uh, pepper jack cheese. It's got a little spice in there as well. Give it a little extra kick, right? Absolutely. I'm gonna pop these in the oven. Just meet me at the table. All right. Hi, Avery. Hey, Jasmine. Want to see my idea for a food that rolls? Sure. Ta-da! Crepes. This one has cinnamon and slices of mandarin oranges in it. I made that once. They're delicious. Hey, guys. Here's my idea for foods that roll. Crepes! <laughs> What's so funny? You're a little late to the party. Crepes have already been chosen. Oh, so you mean I have to eat this and make something else? Oh, you must be so sad. Gavish cake. Well, good luck, Tyler. Yeah, see ya. Hot out of the oven. Nice. These look good. And our sauce. Cheesy. So where do we start? We dress them up. We sauce it. And this is the sauce we made earlier? Yep. Put lots of that on? Yeah, as much as you like. Wow. Now we have some sour cream. Cool it off a little bit. Cool off that spiciness. And some pico de gallo. It's a salsa, right? Yep, nice and fresh. Tomatoes, cilantro, a little lime juice. All right, let's dig in. I've always loved enchiladas, but these enchiladas are amazing. I don't even miss the meat. It's like the tofu gives it its own unique flavor. I'm glad you like it. Thanks, Chef Gordon, for showing me how to make the ultimate enchilada. You can come back to four anytime. Oh, I'll be back. So what are you waiting for? Make your own ultimate enchilada. All the ingredients you need are right here. Or visit TasteBudsTV.com where you'll find lots of other recipes that roll, like these amazing crepes. Status update. Avery is on a roll making enchiladas. Tofu enchiladas? You are definitely on a roll. Wait till you see what I've got. Must think of round food. Poor Tyler. Hi, Lily. Hey, Penny. Want to see my idea for foods that roll? Yes. Ta-da! Meatballs. Nice. Hey, Lily. Want to see my idea for... Ah! Oh! Meatballs are so easy to make. You can use beef, pork, turkey. You don't even have to use meat. I used ground chickpeas once. Chickpeas? That's a great idea. I'll add some to my meatballs and ice cream. Meatballs and ice cream? And chickpeas. I need my fiber. Uh, add a little mustard. There's lots of good foods that roll. But for me, there's nothing like fresh salad rolls. And I'm going to make some right now. 
Hi, I'm Lily. Hi, welcome to Linda Restaurant. I'm Chef Linda. Are we gonna make salad rolls? Yes, but first... So where do we start? So, we start to peel the carrot first. Then we need to make it like this. It looks like a carrot peeler, but with teeth. So, just like this? Yes. Graters are sharp. Get a grown up. Oh, there you go. Yes. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. All so, right. after you do it, then you put it in the vinegar. Okay. Yep, that's the vinegar. And you need to soap it for one night. One night? Yes. Now it's time for you to scrape the mango also. So, why do we have to put the carrot in the vinegar? We want to pickle the carrots and make the cobra taste much more better. All right. And also we need to pickle the cucumber. We need to cut it and put in the vinegar uh, for one night. Are we ready to roll? Yes. The first thing, you need to start to soft the rice paper. So you put it in the water like this? Yes. And then you turn. Just... Slowly, slowly. Hot water can hurt. Get a grown-up. Wow, so that becomes soft right away. Yes. Never put your finger in the hot water. All right. And put it on the cutboard. Put it here. Yes. And stretch it out before it sticks. Okay. Nice. So now we put some carrots here. Piece of cucumber. Nice piece of cucumber. It's like a cucumber snake. <laughs> <laughs> and some mango on top, lines up nicely. Now it's time to roll it. When you roll it, your fingers put it back to the vegetables and roll it like this. You cannot be too hard. If it's too hard, you will break the paper. And too soft, don't look nice. Right. Okay. And now? Knives are sharp. Get a grown up. Cut it this way. Okay. Cut it like this. That looks really nice. Now, look at the rolls. Doesn't look nice? Yeah, it looks beautiful. Yeah. Can we make more? Yes. Once you get rolling, you can make these tasty cold rolls with almost anything. Try making a cold seafood roll with shrimp, rice noodles, salad greens, and basil. Or try a cold meat roll. Here, we're using cooked duck, with apple and mint. You can use ham instead of duck if you want. Hmm, cold, delicious, and bite size. Oh, and don't forget the dipping sauce. Hi, I'm Lily. I'm Calvin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So how do we make this dipping sauce? So first uh, off, we use uh, two cups of vinegar and one and a half cup of sugar. Cool. So you just want to boil this up together and let everything melt. So let all the sugar melt. Stoves are hot. Get a grown up. And after that, all you have to do is just let it cool. Mm -hmm. And you can use this for your um, your marinade for your salad bowl. Nice. So we have some uh, vinegar that's already made here. So all you have to do is just uh, add the cucumbers and the red peppers to it. So I'll add the cucumber. If you like more, you can add more. And that's going to add some texture. Yeah, and some color too. Definitely. Nice. So it's just that? It's done? That's it. Then it's all done. I'm sure everyone wouldn't mind if I tried one. How's that taste? That was awesome. Thanks, Calvin. No problem. Thanks, Chef Linda, for showing me a cool, delicious way to have rolls. You're welcome to come here anytime. Thanks. Avery is going to love these. Lily! Hey Tyler, did you finally find a food that rolls? Yes. Are you ready? You bet. Isn't it perfect? Um, I guess so. So far today, I've made crepes, meatballs, and I almost made salad rolls too. Whoops. And right now, I'm full and I'm tired. And I'm just ready to chill and enjoy this little green grape. And as you'll notice, it definitely rolls. Well, sometimes the simplest meals are the best. Thanks. See ya. A little green grape. I'm a genius. Avery, I had the best day. Wait till you try these salad rolls. Oh, I can't wait. I've just been boiling the potatoes for a big rolling recipe, which is 
Crunchy crab wheels with corn salsa. Oh, potatoes are ready. Are you? Yes, but first. I said, but first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already washed my hands. You know, stove, cooking, hands. <laughs> right. Well, you're just gonna miss out on the fun. So I line this baking tray with parchment paper, and the cookbook says to brush a little vegetable oil on it. This is to make sure the crab wheels don't stick. And it'll make them nice and crispy. And now, we're ready for the crab wheels. But let's put the corn in the oven so that they'll be ready for the salsa. I've already preheated the oven, so I'm just gonna brush the corn with some vegetable oil. The oil's gonna make the corn nice and charred. Like on a barbecue. Then, I'm just going to season it with a bit of salt and some pepper. Now we can roast them. We are good. Ovens are hot. Get a grown up. And fast. All right. Now, do we go with the crab or the wheels? I say it's the crab. All right. Well, my potatoes are nice and cooled down. And it says in the cookbook that you should grate them. Wow, that cookbook's got a bunch of great ideas. Graters and zesters are sharp. Get a grown up. This will help everything stick together. Next, we'll just add some flour. And now we just add some water chestnuts for crunch. Cool. Oh, uh, green onions? Oh, but don't put all of them in, because we're going to save some of them for garnishing later. Right. And since you're in such a great mood... Oh, I'll grate the ginger. Sweet and spicy heat. The ginger's going to taste so good with all the other ingredients. Next, it says we need to start zesting. One lemon and one lime. I call lemon. You always get lemon. But I'll do the lime. Zesting powers go. You can really smell it right away. Now we just add some cilantro, and we're just gonna use the stems for this. And we're gonna save the leaves up for the salsa. This is looking good. Anything else? Next it says to add some red chili pepper. Ooh, but we don't want it to be too spicy, so we took the seeds out. Exactly. All that in. Nice. Lots of color. And last but not least, a little bit of salt and some pepper. So Avery, did you like playing the mud when you were little? When I was little? I still do. <laughs> All right, it's time to mix it up. Nice. It must be so mushy. Ah, uh, playing in the mud memories. <laughs> yeah. Time to get the wheels rolling. Oh, I was just starting to have fun. <laughs> All right, so scoop up a handful. Okay. <laughs> and roll it. Kind of bunch it into a ball. And then pat it down so it's a wheel. It's kind of like a snowball, but with crab mixture. Oh yeah. And just plop it down into the panko. And panko's like breadcrumbs, but lighter because it doesn't have a crust. And I'll just cover it like so, and it's nice and covered evenly. Then it goes on to the baking tray. Cool. Let's get rolling. Corn comes out. Crab wheels go in. All right, well the crab wheels are in the oven and the corn cobs are out. So let's get started on our corn salsa. All right, yeah, the corn's cooled down so I can cut it up. Nice. Knives are sharp, get a grown up. The corn's gonna add some sweetness to the salsa. Yeah, and the char bits are gonna add the smoky flavor. Mmm, mmm. You can already hear the crunch. Yeah. And now that the corn's all ready, you just have to add the rest of the ingredients. How about a recipe roll call? Oh yeah! All right, first on the list, red onions. Red onions, adding a little bit of bite. 
And some beautiful radishes. Radishes, heating it up. Nice and colorful, too. Oh, and the cilantro leaves from earlier. Cilantro. And just a little bit of rice wine vinegar. Making it just a little, little, little sour. My turn to mix. All right. Woohoo! Look at all that color. That smells good. It looks even better. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, don't forget to season it with some salt and pepper. And I'll mix it right in. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Nice. Look at that blend. This meal definitely rolls. All there's left to it is to alert the taste buddies. Just add some salsa. And some green onions. All right. Whoa, those look amazing. And I see you added some guacamole. Yeah, it's just avocado with a little bit of lemon and lime. Let's take a moment to admire these. Look at the guacamole. Yeah, okay, that's long enough. Let's eat. are the best crab wheels ever. They're so crispy on the outside and soft on the inside and the flavors just blend together just right. Yeah, and that corn salsa was a great idea too. It's so tangy and delicious. Wow, those crab wheels rock and roll. My mom made me a crab cake for my birthday. Mmm, chocolate cake stuffed with crab meat. Oh. Ugh. They look delicious. Any chance you'd share with your buddies? You know it. Hey, that's how we roll. So what are you waiting for? Make your own crab wheels with corn salsa. All the ingredients you need are right here. Or visit tastebudstv.com where you'll find this recipe and lots of other fun things to make. Status update, the taste buds are... Rolled and ready. Mmm, I think crab wheels are my new favorite food. You say that every time you try something. Maybe rolling things makes them taste better.